It's time now for the Sports Zone. Wednesday night football in Kanawha County has a nice ring to it. We normally get to see these teams battle on Friday nights, but we're all for some Wednesday night action. And we start our coverage with the historic Battle of the Bridge rivalry as St. Albans made the short trip to Nitro as both teams officially opened up their seasons. Nitro looking for their second win since 2012 in this series and penalties on their opening drive kept them off the board like this touchdown right here on the kickoff that was called back for unsportsmanlike conduct. So it's St. Albans ball down in Wildcat territory. It's a handoff to Jamel Clater and he runs through three or four defenders eventually falling into the end zone which puts St. Albans on the board first. The Red Dragons dominated the first half both on the ground and in the air like this monster pass which got St. Albans down to the two yard line and of course they would punch it in with a QB keeper. And of course, who doesn't? It's Clater again. A lot of penalties and fumbles in this contest. Let's check the final score now and tell you that St. Albans takes home the win 26-13 the final. St. Albans is now 5-1 in the last six matchups. They take back a little piece of the Battle of the Bridge. Elsewhere, Capital visiting South Charleston, a pair of teams who know each other very well, and both of these programs looking to start its season with a victory. But this game was really one-sided and got out of hand quickly. Let's show you how this one unfolded. A lot of talk in the offseason about South Charleston QB Trey Dunn, and he was fantastic in this contest. We catch this one scoreless in the first quarter, and Mr. Dunn going deep, and he puts up a beauty for his man Anthony Jackson. The senior makes the grab and falls into the end zone for the Black Eagles' first touchdown of the year. SC goes up 7-0. How about the South Charleston defense? We know they can score on offense. In the second quarter, they get some points to their own right here. Kevin Tinsley reads Capitals' Evan Lander's eyes the whole way, and it's six points the other way. 77 yards on the pick six. It would be 14-0 South Charleston at this point. Tinsley getting tons of love from his teammates. It was 28-0 South Charleston at the half. This one, all Black Eagles. They crush the Cougars 47-14. There were two more games in the area for this Wednesday. George Washington goes on the road to take down Riverside. GW was up 28-7 at the half and did not look back. The Patriots win 35-21. Herbert Hoover started the year at home. Huskies head coach Joey Fields falls by a touchdown in his Hoover head coaching debut as Sissonville knocks off the Huskies on the road 28-21.